Hi, this is Stitchin' Scotty, and this is Winston, one of my two Scotties. We call him Sir Winston. You can tell he's not real happy about being on the camera. But he's four years old, just turned four, and I just thought I'd uh, show him to you. We got him from the Scottish Terrier Rescue, the Southeast, and he's such a sweet, sweet boy. I don't know who loves who more, us or him. Okay, and next, come here, Striker. Come on, come on. What a good boy. This is Striker. Lightning never strikes twice. And you can't tell, but he's just been brushed yesterday. And um, he looks like he's in his pajamas again. But anyway, this is Lightning never strikes twice, but we call him Striker. And his birthday is today. Happy birthday, Striker. Mmm, I feel Brewster's coming on. We always go to Brewster's and get the free ice cream. But we may have to take a, a sun check today because... I don't think we're going to make it. But anyway, these are my two Scotties, and they're both four years old. And we got them both from the Scottish Terrier Rescue of the Southeast. I've had Scotties ever since I was 10 years old. And they're just really good dogs. I've shown them for a while. Um, I groom my two Scotties. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not. Um, they're very playful. They love just one person. And um, when you're quiet, they're quiet. When you're bouncy and, and happy, they're bouncy and happy. So, you know, it's a good mix. But they do love to play. But anyway, enough about Scottish Terriers. But that's why my name is Stitching Scotty. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for subscribing and liking. I noticed I've gotten quite a few new subscribers. And I really, really appreciate that. I hope you'll keep coming back. Um, hopefully, I'm going to get better and better as things go along. I keep learning every video. Uh, we're going to start with um, past FFOs because I have some things that are just kind of cute and I just like to show them off. Uh, first, we have, uh, as y'all know, I love me some Lizzie Kate. I was so sad. I thought I was going to have heart failure when she stopped uh, and retired. Well, semi-retired, I guess is how you'd call it. But anyway, this was from the January Flip It series. And I just pop these out every month. I've got the whole entire set done, I think. And uh, it's a four by six, just about, uh, frame. I used Week Style Works and the, um, oh, sampler threads that were called for. And I think this one's blue jeans. It's really, well, no, I don't guess it is blue jeans. I don't know exactly. Oh, it's Brethren Blue. That's what it is. And it's on 28 count, my favorite count there at the time. It's changed since then. I like everything. And the reason I have so many small things is because I had four children. Well, I still have four children. But it was just something I could keep in a little bag. And I would go to the football games. And when my son was playing, uh, I would watch him. And when he wasn't playing, I would stitch. People would look at me really strange. When my girls were in the band, I was stitched during the whole entire ball game at college games and high school games. And then when the band came out, I would pay attention. I still knew who won the game and I still had a good time and got lots of stitching done too. And strange looks. Then, you know I love me some shepherd's bush. And this is my candle stand. I didn't bring the top because it keeps falling off. But this is the January. And I could not find the pattern for this one. Um, and it's done on 32 count, no, 28 count. Um, I want to say it's, I want to say it's Country Rain. Or it may be shades of blue. I'm not really sure. It's been so long since I've had this one done. And I pop this one out every month. And what I really like is the candle stand came with uh, little silver things. But eventually when you bend them a lot, they wear out. So, my favorite finishing tool is the Dual Driver Elite. I love this thing. I got it off of Amazon. I first used it at a finishing retreat at Pandas Crossing. Donna's real big into, uh, the owner of Pandas Crossing is real big into finishing techniques and stuff. And she watches Vana's tutorials and this one's tutorials and that one's tutorials. And she just, you know, 
gives everybody credit, but she shows us how to do them in person. Well, she used to. Now it's on Zoom. But anyway, um, this is wonderful. You just load them up and it's like a staple gun and you turn it sideways and you just shoot it in there. And then when it's time to change them out, you just bend these little things up. You can use like a butter knife or a, the head, you know, the end of a screwdriver. Uh, and then after a while, of course, you'll have to replace them, but really easy. So that's a real easy way to finish. Okay, then I also have the January, I fell in love with these, the Lizzie K again, January Flip It Stamp Series. And I just love these. I like the little buttons that you sewed on at the end. And this little snowman was just such a little happy guy. And I used the call four colors. Uh, and there was a couple of DMCs in the mix. And I could not find the pattern for this either. I don't know what happened to it. But I got this distressed frame. It's a five by five. And I want to say I got it at Stitch and Frame. I'm not really sure. And I just pop them in and out here with my little pivot points also. Then I also, this was the first Lizzie Kate Flip It set I did back in, oh gosh, I don't even know when because yet again, it's so old I could not find the pattern. And this is the January Flip It series. I think this was her first Flip It series. These were so handy to carry to basketball games, baseball games, uh, bowling, uh, tennis, you name it. I've been on the bench, watched it, sewed. So there you go. And now I had uh, someone that I watch on Floss Tube, her name, well, she's Stitch Roadie, Anna, and I promised her several times ago, I would show this. And she was moving and stuff, so I thought, well, I'm just gonna wait till she gets moved and then I'll, I'll show it. So I'm going to uh, send her a message. She is going to stitch this. Oops, it's upside down. <laughs> She's going to stitch this for her husband. I hope he's not watching. And I stitched this for my husband and it's so old. I am telling you, this was when I first learned to cross stitch. It was probably one of my first 20 projects, if that. It may have been earlier, you know, like in the top 10. I'm not really sure. There's several mistakes right through here, but it's okay. And you can tell it's old because that's Fiddler's Claw, 14 count. We used to buy that by the bolt. Well, you still can, but... I mean, that was, you know, about the only way you could buy it because that was the only kind of stores that we had. But I just, what drew me to it was the pine tree and the lake. And my husband liked ducks. So I thought, eh, the verse is very nice. So I'll just do the, the one duck. I could have put more ducks in then. But, you know, if it wasn't there, I didn't stick it in. And this has got a fake wormy chestnut frame that I just loved. And all I can tell you is the cross stitch store that I bought this at, this pattern at in Arden, North Carolina, which is out of business and has been for many, many years, framed it. But I could not tell you what the name of the store was or anything because that was way back then, like in the early 80s. Hmm. And I did have the date in there and I ripped it out. So, don't know why I did that. All right. So, that's my past FFOs. And Stitch Rody, I hope you enjoyed looking at that. And I hope I didn't flash it up there too quick. All right, this week I had FFOs. And guess what? I found my red ribbon. I was so excited. It was under a pile of things I needed to finish. Notice I always have a pile. I don't want to call it my pile of shame because I'm really proud of it, you know. But this has been laying in the pile for quite some time. It's from the, um, no, yes. All right, this is from a free pattern from Just Another Button Company. And this is the Cup of Tea series. And I would say this is probably around the 2000, hmm, I'm going to say 8, 9, 10 era. And I got this at Stitch and Frame in Rock Hill. They had them laid out and you just bought the buttons and you got the pattern free. Now the frame is a Mill Hill frame. And I just used the little pivot driver to uh, 
you know, put it in there and I'm going to change them out. February is not even kitted up, so don't be expecting February very soon. I just hope it doesn't take that many years to do the next month. All right. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, everything I think was Weeks Dye Works and Gast, uh, Gentle Arts Threads. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to tell the fabric count. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, this one is on, guess what? 28 fabric count. It took forever to do the teacup though, but I thought he was cute and, and it was something different. And I was into like series then. Uh, no, I lied. It was on 30 count, uh, roof linen from Weeks Dye, Dye Works. And I agree with everyone that Weeks Dye Works linen is very limp. So I have to, have to, have to have a hoop. And I'm one of those lefties. So, um, everything that everybody does stitch in hand, I'm just like, mm, yeah, but sometimes I can figure it out if I'm rested, but if I'm not, um, we'll just stitch in the hoop, but I do stitch in hand sometimes. And, uh, let's see. Uh, also, hmm, okay. You know, I've been working on the 12 days of Christmas just over and over and over. And I couldn't find my red ribbon. Well, I found my red ribbon. And then I had trouble with the six swans of swimming or six geese of laying. And here's the pattern, 12 days of Christmas whimsy. And what really sold me on these patterns, the patterns are beautiful, but look at the frames. Are those not adorable? And I mean, here we've got one with a gingerbread man. I have just discovered I am one frame short. I'm going to look again because you never can tell where it will be in this messy craft room that I've reorganized and reorganized. But if anyone knows where I can get a purple frame, I would be ever so grateful. I would also like to get either a red frame or a red frame or a, a frame with a king, no, a red frame with candy cane because I have a Santa Claus I would like to frame also in this same type of frame. So if anybody knows where I can find one, please message me because I would be very interested. I am going to check eBay. I'm going to uh, message just Nan and uh, so we'll see. But anyway, here is on 32 count, six geese a laying with red ribbon, yay! Then, we have seven swans of swimming. And this one's also on 32 count. And just look at the cute little filigree on the frame and designs. And I love the little blue waves. They show up so well on this video. So I really like that. And the colors are DMC and it uses some chronic and also it uses number eight DMC pearl cotton for the white, for some of the white, not all of the white. It has B5200 for some whites and the pearl cotton for other whites. I don't know, but anyway, it said it, so I used it. And then eight maids of milking. And look at the little barn up there with the little barn door behind her and the milk buckets and, let me move this butt, ribbon. And the cow, is he not cute? or she, she's got a, a wreath around her neck, but just too cute. I also finished, well, we'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, um, I've got number nine finished, but no red, I mean, no purple frame. Hmm. I have frames for 10, 11, and 12, but not nine. Hmm. What is it with this series? It's just jinxed, I guess. So, Okay, now, um, I did not have any finishes. I just knew I was going to have a finish yesterday. I had a lot of stitching time yesterday. Yesterday was hurry up and wait. So, um, but today, maybe, or tonight, maybe I'll get it finished. Who knows? But anyway, um, I messaged a uh, half stitch cross stitch, Dina, and she's working on Holy Night, and so am I. She inspired me to finally pick this up. It's by Shepherd's Bush, 
and you can tell it's old because it was six dollars and it's on cardboard you know so that's always a good sign now i did mine on 19 count uh summer khaki it's a zwiger cork linen i had a hard time finding that and i have no clue where i finally did find it because it's been so long ago and it's just been there folded up in with the pattern waiting and this is how much i've got done so i'm going to get started on that again this week and uh, i think i might have done five stitches if i did that that was one of those days where it's like oh there's not enough time in the day but it uses crescent colors it uses sampler threads weeks dye works and rainbow gallery petite alpaca i haven't gotten to the alpaca yet but what drew me to this design was i just loved the lettering and then the cute little buildings because they're so little we see the nativity scene but you never see much of bethlehem or at least i don't in the in the shops i go to so or the shepherds in the field so i thought that would be great so that was good then uh this is what i worked a lot on yesterday i probably got like uh 500 600 stitches in it yesterday I count my stitches just to kind of just give me like a little boost sometimes. And then sometimes, you know, I'll do a section and then say, well, I believe I'll count that, you know. So I pretty much know how many stitches I do, but I don't, I haven't counted them up from the year yet. I had it on a paper and I don't know where it is either. I just can't keep up with anything these days. But Heart and Hand has a pattern, Christmas means more, okay? And it says Christmas doesn't come from a store. Perhaps it means a little bit more. And then it's got these five blocks down here. And I worked on the snowman. And I also, okay, oh, wait. Oh, ouch, sorry. I bet my girlfriend is going, use it, use it. This is stitchy kindness for my friend, Deborah Mosley. Isn't she sweet? Well, Deborah, I'm doing real good today. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Clips. You know, doing these floss tubes, you sure do have a lot of stuff that sits on top of stuff. And I still don't know how to edit and make it come out right. I still knock out the bad parts and... I mean, the good parts and keep the bad. Don't ask me, what is up with that? So hopefully I'll get that down pat. I've been too busy stitching though to watch more videos on how to, so. But anyway, here we go. There we go, this is what I've got done. I did, I had some of this done. I finished that up and I did all this yesterday. I did the back of the snowman and his little scarf and the inside of the bird. Um, I've still got to finish the church. I'd ran out of Victorian pink. <sighs> Sorry. Victorian pink. And I've got to put a top on the bulb and put some beads on it. And it'll be done. So surely I can have that done tonight. Or at least this week. But this is just a fun pattern. And it's done on 28 natural cashel linen. And I used, it was two threads over two with weak style works. Gentle Arts and Classic Color Works. So, um, the stitch count was 59 by 80. So, it's going to be a nice little size. And I'm, I was really wanting to get it done for Christmas. But, oh, well, I had to work too much. So, there you go. All right. And another one I wanted to get done for Christmas and did not um, was Nativity Row. But. It'll be ready for this Christmas. This is on, well, uh, this is on my whip go board because I'm going to try whip go this year because of Stephanie and Pam from Just Keep Stitching and Dina with Half Stitch Cross Stitch. Uh, a lot of people are doing whip go, so I thought, mm, I'll just try this. And this is Nativity Row. Okay, as you notice, probably about 10 stitches that's about all I got done in this week some days I had plenty of time to work and other days I fell asleep 
So there you go. But at least I have the cow done. Remember how I did the cow. Okay, now this one is on 32 count. The rainy one. Um, it's that rainy blue thing, and I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, uh, it's a Bent Creek piece, and it uses Weeks Dye Works, Gem Arts, Classic Color Works, and three of the metallic DMCs. So that'll be interesting. Yeah. Um, I remember I told everybody when they got to the DMCs, um, and I'll show you one of them like I did last time, uh, just use a see this tip how it just frays if you'll just put you don't use all six strands but if you'll just put um a little dab of uh, clear nail polish you know or even fray check that will uh take care of your problems we learned that in ega which is embroiders guild of america and that is where i met my good friend that made me this flannel board deborah mosley she says I just thought I'd make you this. She brought it over, stitchy kindness, and said to my house, and she lives a good way for me. And I would say probably about 30, 40 minutes. And she said, I just wanted you to have this for your videos. Then, as if that wasn't enough, she brought me this honking big one. So when I do one of those really big, big projects, I will have something to show it on. It'll be a while, people. <clears throat> but I may use this for several things um, to show several different pieces instead of just one big one because <sighs> I guess I'm, I don't know, attention deficit on sewing or something. It's like, oh, I got to do this and then let's squirrel away over to this. You know, you never can tell. But anyway, I'm enjoying sewing on that and that's going to go on my whip go board because it is going to be a finish. Well, I say it's going to go on it. It's on it. I just haven't made the board yet. I'm a little procrastinator. All right, then. Oh, goodness. Uh, before uh, New Year's, I was sewing on just, ouch, Christmas stuff. And I picked up Stitching with the Housewives. Santa Claus is coming to town. Because I have this box. So this is on my whip go board because it is gonna be used. This is on, I've stitched on 28 count black jobulin, even, oh, Deborah, I'm so used to not using it that now I'm not used to using it. Oh goodness, we're gonna get here. Just be patient, people. Okay, sorry. Okay, and so you can tell I just dropped mid-thread. But Santa Claus is, and then I started some of the brown up here or tan, I guess you should say, on the vine that's going to go over it. I didn't get much stitching done on that either because I fell asleep with my needle in hand. But um, I'm using the classic color works, all the colors that Priscilla and Chelsea picked out because they, they pick out such pretty, pretty colors. And it's in my first project bag, my stitching Scotty bag. I got this from a lady at Pandas Crossing. I was so excited. Just look at that. Little doggy, or no, little prints. And then Scotty dogs. And it's like a retro kind of um, fabric. You know, the vintage fabric that's real popular now. So, I'm real excited about that. And so, that will be a finish this year. That's on my whip go board to finish. Okay. Next, I had to have a new start, like I need one, uh, for January 1st, but everybody else was doing it, so I thought, eh, I'll just do it too, and it's going to give me excuse because I've been wanting to start this. Well, when I saw the pattern, I looked at it, and you know, usually I'm like, oh, I need that cloth, that specific cloth, or the closest thing you have to it because I like it, or how it looks in the picture, you know, and people keep telling me, oh, you know, the picture, excuse me, doesn't make the design. So, I joined Annabella's and Pandas Crossing uh, Sampler of the Month, Sal, and I'm doing January. But, I chose a different cloth. To me, that looked like a desert in the background. It's pretty, 
but it just wasn't for me. So I chose this blue fabric. It's Touch of Blue from Zweigert for my stash. And it's 28 count because I do so have a lot of 28 and 32 count. And I thought, well, I'm going to start with a white because evidently this was stitching with white week mostly because Santa Claus is was white. This was white. You know, every time you turn around, something white. So I'm using, I made a couple of substitutions too. I was like, hmm. So instead of really tilly, because it did not show up on here at all from Classic Color Works, I picked um, Classic Color Works Old Blue Jeans. That's one of my favorite colors. And I'm gonna do the house in that and the little lines, the trim that you see like here and here. That's going to be old blue jeans. So, I hope that turns out right because if it doesn't, I will be ripping or frogging or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, um, this one's also on my Whip It board. Yay, I hope she calls the number. And I'm one of those that I'm going to do extra things. So, I might just pick this one up if that's allowed. I don't know if you can pick up something I guess you can, I'm not sure, because this is my first year with whip, wing, whip it. No, not whip it, wingo, whip go. I don't even know the name of it, good grief. If you're laughing now, that's okay. All right, and last but not least, this has been laying around since 2018 in this calendar. <clears throat> um, it's another new start, like I need a new start, but hey, I have to do all the things, as we say. This is the Keepsake 2018 calendar, and this is helping me do the monthly magazine challenge. I hope this counts as a challenge. I'm really fudging it on things, and I'm not a rule breaker. I am not. I'm a good girl. Well, most of the time. Anyway, um, the Winter Chalkboard by Kathy Haberman. I saw that. I've been seeing the, um, I've been seeing all the good uh, autumn, you know, words and all those, and I have those, but I thought, you know, I think I've got this winter one, and I think, you know, and then I got to it, and it's different. So, it had the little boots and the little cocoa, and that just, Oh, and the cute little hat. I just loved it. So I said, well, I've just got to do that. So I had a yard or half yard. No, I guess I had a half yard of slate. And it's 32. Oh, Deborah, what are you going to do with me? It's 32 count slate. And so what I did was I just used my cross stitch calculator on my phone. And I started this. This was one evening's work because I was watching floss tubes and I would stop and I would watch and I would stop and I would watch. So I didn't get a lot done, but I'm really enjoying this one. Just like I'm enjoying this January sampler and all the things I stitch because I really do enjoy them. Um, and this one uses Week Style Works, Gentle Arts Sampler Threads, and it's got straight stitches, Smyrna crosses, and lazy daisies, which I learned how to embroider in high school. So I believe I can handle those. So, and I know how to needlepoint. So there you go. So anyway, uh, we'll watch the progress on this. And I think I put this on my whip go board. I'm not sure. So, um, and let's see. The only, no, I didn't make any substitutions on this one. I did everything that it called for. But this calendar just has some of the cutest pictures. I mean, look at that. Now, those are not my colors, but of course, you can always change them. And I just thought this one was very, very cute. And I love the little cabinet it's in. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And look at the turkey. And the Horn of Pliny, or Cornucopia. And look at that winter scene. Isn't that beautiful? But it had some beautiful, beautiful things in it. And uh, it also had the little girl in the rain, the flowers. Oh, that's a tote bag. And then balloons. 
and I've already shown you that one. So, in every month, uh, their calendars have, um, oh, I forgot to show you this. And this is something else I've really got to stitch. It says, once upon a stitch. And, you know, I have a floss tube friend with that name, Lori of Once Upon a Stitch. Um, maybe she might want to do this. But it's in the Keepsake 2018 calendar. And then we have Love because Valentine's Day is coming up sooner than we think. All right. So, that's going to be a lot of fun this year. So, I'm going to enjoy that. Okay, let's see. Oh, more stitchy kindness. Okay. Um, last month I showed you cute. Uh, not last month. Last week I showed you the cutest little piano that my girlfriend Susie had gotten me. She's one of my stitchy friends and one of my piano students because you know I'm a piano teacher, and she made me you know two needle minders, and I couldn't find the scissor fobs. Yet again, they were under a pile of finishing things, or things to be finished. So, she made me this scissor fob and this beautiful elephant scissor fob. And I just thought those were so precious. And Susie, I am so sorry I could not find them last time. I was kind of embarrassed because I couldn't find them. But... Oh boy. Anyway, uh, she makes those. So, uh, I know she doesn't have an Etsy shop, but I'm hoping maybe she'll get one. I'm trying to talk her into it. So, then, um, ooh. Okay, and Deborah made me the two flannel boards. That was my stitchy kindness. And I don't know if I showed this last time either. Let me look. I was supposed to look, but I forgot. Uh, no, I don't think I did. Okay, if I did, please forgive me. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, my friend CK, she gave me this for Christmas. Is that not just cute? It's a coffee, it's a mug rug. And it says, friends and coffee make the perfect blend. Now, somebody has done this on an embroidery machine. I think she bought this in a bazaar. But is that not so cute? And I love the colors. And then I got this one. And it looks all Valentine-y. So, I think I'll be using that one for Valentine's. And the other one for like every day. And then this one for like September and stuff. So, I might use this one one month and the other one another month. But thank you so much, CK. I love, love, love it. So nice. All right. And then... I got haul. Okay, I don't know how many of you know about the Patreon program. Um, several designers have opted to go with that and they give little perps and things and they charge uh, for different plateaus. They have four tiers that you can do. There's a tier one, two, three, and four, of course. And depending on the tier that you go on, is what kind of patterns and coloring pages like for punch needle and things you do. Because I went on Teresa Kogert's uh, Patreon page. And just because she has such beautiful designs and I'm just enamored with them. So, I'm going to show you a couple of the um, Patreon things that she's got. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the um, number one gets. I'm really not sure. But I know she sends out newsletters. Uh, if you just go to Teresa Kogut of uh, Patreon or you just go to patreon.com and put in um, Teresa Kogut, uh, Kogut um, and it's uh, P A T. E-R-O-N, I think. No. Patreon. P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Excuse me. All right. So, she has coloring pages that she does. She, um, and you can use the coloring pages, like I said, for punch needle. Now, I can't show these because, um, 
eventually they will be paid patterns. And these are like exclusive. This is like going to a private retreat before the retreat even starts. So I'm gonna show you November since they're already out. I'm not going to show you December's because I don't know if she would appreciate that or not. Okay, so this one says, Happy Birthday, Jesus. And I thought that was so cute. That's on the second level. And it's just a little fast thing that you could do. It could be a nice small for a dough bowl or something. Uh, it's 81 by 76 stitches. And, it, you know, how big or small it is, it just depends. And she's very good. The directions are large. I can show you this page. Um, and it shows you the colors and the sizes. See? Um, she does it all the way from 28 count to 40 count. And if you do Ada, just half that. You know, that'd be 14, 15, 16, or 20 count. So, um, but the one that really, really just yanked my chain that I just was like, oh, I've got to have this. It was bearing gifts. I just thought that was precious. So, I can't wait to get that on my uh, start. I think that's going to be like maybe a Jolly July, maybe. I, I really do, because it's just so, so pretty. And the good thing is, is it's not full coverage. <laughs> Yay. And then she had another one uh, for Patreon Tier 4. But I'm not going to show that one. So, um, I'll just keep you wondering what else she's going to do. But I've already gotten January or December's. And uh, I saw that she posted because she sends you emails and tells you when the next come out. And uh, so, I'm going to go pull those and go, ooh. Yay! So that's something new. It's just something I decided instead of doing maybe a fabric of the month club, I thought, well, I'm going to do this. So, um, you know, it's just something different since I like Teresa Cogart's pattern so much. All right. So then, uh, yet again, Stitchy Kindness from Deborah Mosley. She gave me this dark denim fabric flare. From Fat Quarter Shop, they sent her the wrong fabric, and they talked. She offered to send it back, and they said no, just pass it along to a friend. And guess what? She passed it along to me, and it will be used and used and used till every inch of it's used. Thank you, Deborah. You are so kind. I appreciate that so much. It's always nice to have stitchy friends, and I really, really appreciate. Uh, my stitchy friends. I know my friend Dolores, she gave me a whole bunch of linen the last time I went to her house. It was so pretty. It was before Christmas. And I, was, I wasn't even doing these. No, it was way before that because I don't even know if I was doing these videos then. But anyway, I'm already using that, Dolores, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Well, then I have just been on like a shopping spree, spending my Christmas money um, and I made some overtime money. Yay! Okay, that wasn't in piano. That's in my other job. Okay, so when I went to Panda's Crossing, um, well, I didn't get to go. I just caught, I looked online and I found what I wanted. And I've been eyeing this pocket round for a long time from heart and hand. And so I put that on my list. It's something real small when I just want like a quick finish, you know, quick gratification. Everybody needs it because it's only like 32 by 33 inches. Surely I can finish this in one evening. Surely. Okay. Then Donna shows a Facebook Live. Uh, it, you go on the Pandas Crossing Facebook group and it's at five o'clock every other week is she does cross stitch and every other week and then the alternate week she does beading because she has a cross stitch and a beading store. She has lots of beads. Oh my goodness. I tried to take a video of the beads, but I would have made you seasick. So I'm going to try later when I can get out and go. But this is from Satsuma Street. She showed this snow buddy. And she also snowed, showed a Santa Claus. I liked him, but I thought, oh, he is just so cute. Because we're all about the snowman. So this comes with, it's a kit. It's got the color chart. 14 count perforated paper, DMC and embroidery floss, the beads, the sequins, tapestry needle, and finishing instructions. Now, if my kids were still at home, I could throw this in a bag with scissors and I would be a happy girl. So, there you go. Then, 
my husband was so sweet. He got me more trim. So he gave me a little extra so I could get this at Donna's shop. It's from Lady Dot Creates and it's the Prim Finishing Packet. And then Chelsea from Priscilla and Chelsea and Stitching with the Housewives had a birthday. And for her birthday, Priscilla, oops, oh, where's my page? Priscilla designed a pattern. And I don't think I'm going to be able to show it to you because I don't have the cover sheet. Oh, and I thought I was so prepared. Okay. Well, anyway, I bought Chelsea's chicken. I'll do this. See? You can see. I bought Chelsea's chicken. It's a PDF. And that was instant gratification. So, that's on my to-sew list. Then, I also found a tiny modernist pattern. Um, I got this from Annabella's. And I thought that was just so cute. It says Mouse Christmas Decorating. Mouse is Christmas Decorating. And it's got like how to be, it, this will be a great beginner pattern because look, it's got directions on the back of how to start, how to run your stitches. Uh, and it shows, it's got, it's even got numbers here. Do you see the numbers? I was just really impressed by that. And the charts in color. And, this, and the stitch count's 59 by 59. Got to watch the time. Almost time to teach piano. Then, there's more. I had to have, from Cherry Hill Stitchery, Kringle's Bakery. I thought that was so, so cute. It was just adorable. And I got this from a Fat Quarter Shop. I think and it comes with a black and white graph or a color graph yes I did get this from fat quarter shop then I also got from Cherry Hill Stitchery and fat quarter shop Merry Christmas look at that snowman and the bird and the little bird house the birds and the little bird house just love it so um that's also a color chart, and they have a black and white chart. Now, I prefer working on black and white charts just because that's what I learned how to do on, and I don't really highlight things. Uh, I use a line minder, but for some reason, the lines and the color just get mixed up. I don't know what's up with that. And here's something that finally came that I bought myself for Christmas. Holiday Quaker. Is that not too cute? I just fell in love with this. I can't remember who it came from. I really can't. But I saw this, and this is probably going to be about the biggest thing in a while that I've done. It's 261 by 180, but it's only 13 by 9 if you do it on 40 count. Hmm, maybe 36. I'm not sure. We'll just have to see. But I just love the colors. I've seen it on everybody's pages. And I was like, oh, this is on my to-do list. And then, this has been on my to-do list for quite some time. Um, home for the Holidays. And this is Country Cottage Needleworks. And I just thought this was so, so cute. Love, love, love it. And um, this is 103 by 103. And this is on water li lily linen, which I have some in my stash. So that's a possibility. We might start that this, this year. Okay. So uh, I'm going to see if I can, what I've got time for. I may have to stop in the middle and restart this video because I may have to stop and teach piano. I tell all my friends I turn into a pumpkin, you know, when uh, a certain time comes every day and it's it's different times. But anyway, um, I'm going to recap my year and then my next video will probably be plans. Um, or not. I don't know. Let me see how I do. Okay, recap of the year. I stitched seven new designers that I had never stitched before. Um, I had 61 starts because I had to do like 31 starts in May. Oh, 
holy cow, what is up with that? And I did 31 starts and they're still sitting there. And I had to do some new starts during Jolly July. Then, because I didn't start a lot of Christmas during Stitch Mania, I waited for Jolly July to do that. Well, I only finished 27 things, but the 27 things I finished, I was really happy with. Then I had 12 finally finished objects or FFOs, not counting the four that I finished today because those I finished today and this is 21, not 20. So, whips, one of my friends is just always going, Dottie, just, she's my twin. She says, Dottie, just how many whips do you have? And I said, I don't know. I'm not going to count. I'm not going to do like Gary and say 12. You know, he's from Sunshine Stitchers and he has 12 whips and it took what? an hour and something to see all his whips and I had to watch everything just so well I guess it was about an hour but I loved seeing all of them and he'll finish all his just like that because he's very very fast but I would say I probably have between 34 and 40 whips uh, between retreat projects and Jolly July and Stitch Mania and just one or two straggler things you know there may be more but if there are hmm don't know where they are all right, I participated in the uh, Fat Quarter Shop American Spirit, bleh, American Spirit Sal. I participated in the Bloomtopia. I participated in uh, Fright Night uh, Sal. Bloomtopia was actually a finish. The other two are stragglers. Um, I also pretend, pretended, participated in the Brenda Gervais Coming to America Sal. Well, my ship sank along the way, so it's just a little straggler. He's a little stranger out there wandering on, on the ocean somewhere. And uh, I attended a Zoom September soiree at Sassy Jack's Stitchery with one of my friends. Uh, we stayed in my camper, and we watched the entire um, soiree on video. So that was interesting. And met, you know, in, well... Zoom met people, uh, different three or I think it was three different designers, and that was very interesting. And saw some upcoming things that you know they're gonna do. And then I attended one Zoom retreat at Sassy Jack's with Beth at Summer House Stitch Works, and I did that in the fall. That was my Thanksgiving. That those were my Thanksgiving pieces that I did the candle mat and the scissor fob and the shaker box. So, you'll have to go back to one of my previous videos. I want to say it was like video number three, two or three, um, that I showed that in. And that will be available next fall, or this fall. So, and she had some beautiful pieces that she's planning on uh, putting out, and I was really excited. So, I was pretty proud of myself, you know, of things I accomplished. This is the first time I had ever kept up with anything that I've done. I just sit down and stitch, you know, and no big deal. You know, I got time today, maybe. But, um, anyway, so we're going to go on to plans. Um, I have the, uh, I'm going to do some of my plans and then I'll come back probably and make another whip go and I'll just show my whips and that will be this week. It may even be later tonight. I don't know. It depends how piano goes. All right, I'm going to try to do the monthly magazine challenge because I love magazines, um, especially cross-stitch. Well, I just love cross-stitch magazines and quilting magazines. But anyway, um, I've got like all the ornament things, all the Halloween things, and then I've got some just cross-stitch and um, Sony Creek and just different you know, different magazines through the years. I even have some leisure arts magazines. And one of my friends sent me a an issue of just cross-stitch from like 1985, I think. Yeah. No, 1983. It was $3. She was getting rid of her stash. And I didn't know they were in Birmingham, Alabama. Hmm. But um, anyway, it's got all the patterns are black and white. Um, now, is this dated or what? Hmm. Goodness. Yes. Uh, I remember when the favorite thing to do. 
Let me see if I can do it. You did a little thing like a bib for a broom. When, when uh, after I had graduated from high school, that was the going thing. So, um, I don't know. I just, she sent it because she knew I would know. And guess what? There's an article in here about Jean Farish Needleworks. So, I'm going to have to read that. And uh, she had she had said that she wanted to do whatever is of such design as to be timeless. By timeless, I mean the stitcher will, for all time, be pleased that she or he devoted all those hours to that particular piece. And I just thought that was just really great. So, um, I'm going to be reading that, and I'll be letting you know about that. Okay, and... My monthly magazine challenge this month is winter chalkboard. All right, then I'm gonna try doing the Orny sale thing, ornament of the month sale. You know, Stitch Roadie does it. Um, several of my friends do it. Pam and Steph do it from Just Keep Stitching. And I'll be showing you that ornament on my plans and whip go page because it's somewhere. Then, uh, I'm going to try whip go and they pulled numbers and of course they pulled the free space. So by them pulling the free space, I said I was going to do a finish for my free, you know, an FFO for my free space. Since it's free, you know, there's, you know, you can make it whatever you want it to do. And FFOing is, is just really a put off, you know, let's just procrastinate for that. So I got four of those done. The three that I did, you know, of the uh, little ornaments, they really don't count because you can do them like two minutes. But um, anyway, I did get the Cup of Tea series January done. So that's going to take care of my free space. Then I'm going to participate in Fat Quarter Shop Stitch Mania. I'm also going to participate in Jolly July that they host. And um, I really, really was, um, let me find it. I got my Just Cross Stitch magazine, and I've seen one other stitcher show this in the magazine, but she I don't remember if she showed this or not. I want to say it was Once Upon a Stitch, Lori. But they're doing a My Quaker Christmas sampler, and you know, Quaker things are really something, and it's a six-part. And I thought, oh, this is just great. Well, part one is in this issue, the February issue. So, I'm going to get my stuff kitted up, and in Stitch Mania, this will be a start for me. And that's sal I will uh, participate in. I'll be a little bit behind things, but, hmm, you know, we got till Christmas. So, um, that's it for today, I think. I don't think I've left anything out, and this is the longest video I've had yet. My goodness, was I talkative. But, um... I just hope that uh, everyone enjoyed my video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And um, if you are a South Carolina Stitcher in the South Carolina Stitcher Facebook group, hello and welcome. I really, really appreciate it. One of my friends shouted me out on her page and uh, I was just really thankful. I hope that was okay. Um, I've seen other people do it, but just because you've seen other people do it, you know, it's, you never know. But anyway, um, Thank you so much, and um, I did not, I went to the book club stitching sale, and hopefully I can uh, get started in that. I got a late start in the other ones, so I, I didn't get everything done, so I didn't really have anything to show for that, but uh, maybe this year, but that's my half year plans. I'm only planning for a half a year because there's too much good stuff coming out that I want to get and do. So until later, I hope everyone stays healthy and uh, keep stitching away and show and stitch all the things. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.